What's up, everybody? It's Big Roth TV, and I'm back with another pickup video. All right, so this time, this is some pickups that I got recently from the most recent Nike clearance sale. Um, I'm always coming on here and I'm trying to tell you all that, that watch my channel uh, ways to save money when you're purchasing your gear or your, or your kicks that there's always sales out there. And usually once every so often, Nike might have a 20% off sale or something like that online. So you just go to Nike.com and, and you, you save yourself some money, some kicks that you might have been having your eye on for a while. You know, they're going to they're be on there for, they're going to discount them first, you know what I mean? And then they're going to put another 20% off on it. So that's the best time to get those kicks, man. And especially with with uh, school coming back up here in a few months, you know, be looking for ways to save money when you go out and purchase your kicks and gear for your kids. So look out for those Nike clearance sales. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into a few of the things that I picked up. Um, for one, I, I shop on Nike.com a lot, and for whatever reason, I didn't realize that they sold, you know, the college jerseys. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't realize this. And one day I'm scrolling and scrolling, and I, I'm looking at shoes, and I see a Carolina Panthers logo come up, and then I see a University of Kentucky logo come up, and I'm like, since when? Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I didn't think about jerseys and, and, you know, Kentucky stuff and Panther stuff, my, my favorite sports teams. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I should have a long time ago because I've been saying to myself, man, I could sure use a new Kentucky jersey. My old jersey's getting a little beat up. So once I saw that, I said it's on. And luckily, they had this jersey right here. Boom, boom. They had this jersey right here on clearance. So here it is. Brand new University of Kentucky jersey. Brand new. So this uh, was 20% off. So it was roughly under... Uh, under 40 bucks, under 50, I think it was. No. Yeah, it was under under 50 bucks when I got this jersey. So that's a steal for, you know, one of these jerseys. It's, it's a very good material on this thing, man. Very good material. It's not one of those jerseys that you get that feels cheap. And you're like, ah, oh, man, this is going to, you know, die off after one wear. But this is the dry fit jersey. You can see that right there, dry fit. So this feels this feels really good in the hand, man. So this is well worth it. Two X for me, you know. I'm a big dude. They don't call me Big Rock for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So glad that I got this. Um, gonna rock this today, as a matter of fact. So uh, this was the first purchase I got: the University of Kentucky uh, college jersey, which was well worth the money there. Um, and then the second thing I got, um, focus. There we go. Um, so the second thing I got, it was a pair of shoes that I had been eyeing for a while that I kept saying to myself, I kind of want to try that model. Um, but I just couldn't, uh, I didn't want to bite the bullet for a while. I just kept going back and forth. I said, I, I want to try this model, but I just don't, I just don't know. So I finally went ahead and bit the bullet because I saw a pair of crispy whites on there. And I said, I need them for the summer. I need them. So they came along with that jersey. So here it is. Nike box, of course. You got it from Nike, right? Uh, these are the Nike Sock Dart KJCRD. I have absolutely no idea what that means. Um, white, white white and black um size 13 i go down half a size on prestos or not half a size i should say i go down a full size on prestos and i figured these would fit the same so i went down a size on these these retail for 130 dollars, and with the nike clearance sale that was i got these for half off so 
Let's go ahead and get into these, man. And of course, you guys know how I do it right here on Big Rock TV. Left shoe first, baby. Right? So here it is. The Nike sock dart and that super crispy, that super crispy white right there. Let me get this paper out of here. And I can tell you off, off the top, the only thing that I'm not liking about this model right now is this. I don't know if the camera is picking this up well enough, but this toe guard here is already yellowing. And then the pictures, it's not yellowing like that. It's still crispy white, just like the rest of the shoe. But this toe guard right here is yellow, man. I'm not, I'm not digging that part. But what can you do? Um, over here, this material, this material is so super white. And with the lights in the background and everything, you probably can't even see the details of the material here. But there that is right there. There that is. I'm, that's not the right way to talk. Um, it is really, <laughs> this is like a sock. I put these on to try them on when I got them the other day. And I had them on with a sock and it was just like nah this isn't the way you're supposed to wear these in my opinion to me when you get a pair of the sock darts because this is right here this is pretty much a sock i don't know the exact material but this feels like a sock for real so when you get a pair of these barefoot throw these on barefoot they have amazing breathability your feet will not get all sweaty and everything so your feet will feel comfortable you'll be fine especially here in Spain where it's hot as hell. So you throw these on, you're going to feel good. Your feet are going to be comfortable. You got your bottom there, crispy white bottom. Uh, very comfortable shoes. That I compare these a lot to the Prestos. Um, that's how they feel on foot to me. Once you get them on foot, they're going to fit just like the Nike Presto. So if you're a fan of those shoes, get a pair of these. Not going to be any different with the exception of the fact that the Prestos have no laces. Or, I mean, the Prestos have shoelaces. The sock darts have no laces. So that's pretty much the difference between the two. Um, the one area on the box where it says black, that's there on the back right there. And then the Nike check on the inside. Outside of that, crispy white all the way around the shoe and just man that yellowing it doesn't take away from how dope the shoe is to me but it just it was irritating me at first i was considering returning it just because of that but i would wind up losing money to return it you know from where i am so I, you know might as well just hold on to them i think they're dope anyway and this part isn't enough to get rid of the shoe if i really like the shoe beyond that part so um that's it man just wanted to show you all uh this pickup definitely for these gonna want to hit hit these with some of this crep protect um just so you can prevent some of that dirt getting on there i started using this maybe a few months ago and I usually spray it on most of my shoes when I wear them the first time. And I'm telling you the truth, man, this stuff works, man. So I'm not I'm not being paid by crep or anything. I just I found it out here in the shoe store and um I decided to, you know, go ahead and start rocking it and it, it really works a lot. It's been a few pairs of shoes that I've sprayed this on, walked around town all day, and came home and it looked like I hadn't worn my shoes at all other than the bottom, you know what I mean? So get you some of this stuff, protect your kicks. But anyway, that's been it. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will holler at you all in the next video. Go Big Blue. Peace.